Hey, Survivor fans, it's Chad again. Um, I'm recapping episode two. Uh, sorry it's so late. I worked last night till close, roughly. Got home around a little after midnight, and then I had to be at work at eight, so. And I didn't get home till 7.30 today, so it's like, I go nonstop day today, and I miss shit, and so... Obviously, when I miss shit, I have to recap it later, or I have to catch up, so that's what I'm doing. Um, basically, um, they start off with damn snake shots again. I hate snakes. I wish... I, skin crawls every flipping time. Um, they start off with Matt scene, like every, every, every episode, they recap the losing tribe going back to, uh, tribal, uh, back to their camp, and... Angie and Malcolm start snuggling, and you're thinking, hmm, Boston Robin Amber again, maybe? We don't know yet, but it's causing tension within other people. Um, I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, they go into the intro again, and they cut the damn intro. I, uh, that, that's, I hate that crap. They should just keep the damn intro and just keep it going. Instead, they cut it. I don't know why. To me, that's just retarded. They should show everybody. Uh, they go into uh, Tanding and Abby and RC get into a little bicker match. Uh, I'm a big fan of Abby. Uh, I just like, like I said, I respect people that like, go into the game and all this, but when you get into, like, Survivor, you know, you're going to have, like, bickering matches and all that. So we'll see what goes on there. Um, they go into uh, Calabau. Um, they go into a Jeff Kent uh, confessional. Uh, we all know he's an ex uh, baseball player and all that. And I watched him. He was pretty cool. He was pretty good in baseball. So we'll see how he goes into Survivor with a bum knee. I don't think he's going to last much longer, but we'll see. Uh, more surprise or things have happened. Um, and uh, I felt like playing raindrops keep falling on my head in this episode because that's all we saw in the ring until the last. 10 minutes or so, then finally saw some sunshine. Um, uh, I want to get a um, shout out to Dawson's t-shirt has wings on the back. I thought that was cool. Um, I got notes here, by the way. I'm just jotting down stuff. Um, then we focus on Jonathan Penner for a little bit. Uh, he's, he's an awesome survivor player. He's a villain, and uh, he's scrambling around for the hidden immunity aisle. And uh, it's right. It's right under the nose. It's on the. It's on the crate. It's the little thing. He he figured it out. And uh, but beforehand, it, I think it was Dana that found him scrambling to look for it. And uh, she's like, "What are you? What are you looking for?" He's like, "I think I lost my glasses." It was classic. I loved it. Um, but he does find the idol. We go back to um, um, Tandang. Um, it shows Blair. She's given a. Oh, I'm sorry. I said Blair. I met Lisa Welch, and she's like, I'm shy. I was like, how, I'm thinking, how can you be shy when you're a former TV star and you had to go in front of all those people and audition and all that? I, I just didn't really buy into that, and she, they show her having a breakdown and all that. And um, So, I mean, I, I, like, I like that. I, like, I didn't like the breakdown. Let me rephrase that. I, I think it's kind of cool to see somebody from a celebrity, like a teen star trying to get into this thing, but her saying that she's shy, I didn't buy into that. Um, I mean, you can't be shy when you're in the show business. It's uh, I, don't, I just don't see how you can be shy. Um, a son finally comes out, and uh, Roxy uh, on uh, Matt scene, who's a complete mess at this point, um, she is chanting some some weird stuff. I don't know if it was voodoo or what the hell, but me and my girlfriend, we were just laughing. I'm like, what the hell is that shit? And that's not the only funny thing I saw today. And I was like, they go into the immunity challenge. Matt seems a mess. Um, they eventually do catch up, but they blew it at the uh, puzzle. Um, Tanding wins first again in Calabau, and they win tarps and blankets and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, Matt scene goes into tribal again. Um, Russell comes up with a great line: "Go hard or go home." I that's the motto of life. If you're if you're gonna half-ass something, don't do it. If you're just 
you know, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. If, if you're going to go on Survivor or anything, any people just want to half ass it, it, you know, there's plenty of other people that want the same opportunity, but if they want to keep preying on people on the show that want to quit, I'm, I mean, I agree with that. Uh, but anyways, they go into tribal. Um, little bickering uh, between, and then they show damn snakes again. I I don't know what is it with them and shooting. Somebody please answer me why they keep showing shots of snakes. I mean, why? Uh, tribal is hilarious. Uh, they ask Angie, little Miss Be Blonde Beauty Queen, what would you improve the tribe? And she said, what cookies? I'm thinking. WTF, like, anyways, Roxy gets voted out, um, so that's that, uh, so Matt seems down to four, um, there's, uh, Matt, uh, Jeff did say things may look up for them, so I don't know if something's going to go on next week, we'll just have to see, but that's what I have for now, so 